The very first recipe I ever invented all by myself was back when I was about nine years old. And I happened to be crazy about V8 juice and crazy about lemon juice. And I thought those two things should go together. So I took a glass and filled it not quite two thirds of the way with V8 juice and then topped the rest of it off with lemon juice and added a sprinkling of pepper and it was delicious. <laughs> I haven't had that in a very long time. I might have to fix that. But for a long time now, I've been wanting to freeze dry lemon slices because I just still am crazy about lemon. And I just finished a batch. I want to show it to you. I took half of them and put them in bags and then the rest of it went into another giant bag and I've been slowly pulverizing that in batches and putting it in cute little jars that will live in my kitchen. I already have about 20 things that I can't wait to use that in. So come along and I will show you all the fun. of lemons. I may have to run back to Costco. back I did a video on two problems that came up because my harvest right extra large trays were so big. One of those was the way it hit my scale and kept shutting it off so I had to find a fix for that. But the other problem was that the trays are so big they won't fit in the freezer. Well in that video I told you about these brownie pans that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They're perfect in that they fit directly on the tray four in a row and I will link to that video so you can see that but they just work out great for pre-freezing. Um, on most of these brownie trays I was putting three layers but I got carried away on a few and didn't realize I had put a fourth so that really saves space in the freezer. Anyway I just loaded these up with parchment paper put them in overnight and then when I was ready to put them on the trays I just slid each of the sheets over and it worked out great. I'll link to that previous video below in case you want to see how these fit on the tray or you also are having a problem with your heavy trays shutting off your scale. I'll show you the fix for that. <music>
So a few trays worth went into these Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber. And some of them I put in a jar because seriously, they were so pretty. I wanted them on display. But then the rest I took and put into my little food processor and pulverized for powder. What was that? What would you put it on? What won't you put it on? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>